This video is proudly sponsored by Squarespace. It would have been nice if during this video about my best ever results, I was in something approaching my best ever shape. Unfortunately, life gets in the way. I've had a rotten cold the last two weeks, so I've actually lost some gains. But the fact remains that over the last few weeks, prior to the cold, I was seeing some pretty decent results. And what was cool is that these were very similar to results I saw about nine or 10 months ago, when I actually gained quite a lot of muscle, improved my strength and skills, all in a short time frame. And at the time, I didn't know what was causing it. However, now I have a much better idea as to why I saw those results and how I can replicate them in future. And I'm not saying this is definitely going to work for you, but I am saying that you should definitely give it a try. So it was a few months ago, maybe nine, ten months ago, that I noticed I was getting these really impressive gains. I was getting a lot of size and a lot of strength, more so than I normally would. And in fact, people on Instagram and on YouTube were commenting about it, saying, dude, what are you doing differently? And I looked into a few things that could possibly be. I tried looking at my magnesium supplement, which I did think helped me to gain some mass, but I don't think could have been entirely responsible. I looked into the creatine I was using. I was using a lot more creatine at the time. Again, I think helpful, but couldn't entirely explain it. And then I realized that it was probably down to an experiment I've been running at the time for a few months at that point, which was to train throughout the day. So not one big workout, but rather three or even four smaller workouts all in the space of a single day. I was doing this to find out whether I could get similar results to what I would normally expect training just once a day, but actually the results exceeded my expectations and it turned out I got far superior results. Now some of you might be thinking, but Mr. Bioneer, I thought you already trained throughout the day. And it's true, I use what I call incidental training where if I'm carrying shopping, I might do some shrugs or if I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, maybe I'll do some grip training, which I keep by my kettle. If I'm waiting at a bus stop, I'll do some calf raises. But that's a different thing versus breaking my main workout into three 10, 15 or 20 minute chunks which is what I've been doing lately. Now I do still have these longer sessions when I come and film, but other than that, this has been the way I've been training. Now, of course, gains can mean different things to different people. Are we talking about muscle gains here, size or strength or skills or cardio or weight loss? Well, as it happens, I think that splitting your workouts into lots of smaller segments is actually beneficial for all of those things. So let me explain. So I think I've packed on more size as a result of breaking my workouts into smaller chunks. And this works for a number of reasons. For example, I might take my push day and instead I'll just do some quick exercises for my pecs, some quick exercises for my shoulders on a separate occasion, and then some quick exercises for my triceps. Three separate workouts instead of one long one. This, first of all, allows me to attack each workout fresh, full of energy, so I'm not tired from training my pecs, meaning I can go harder on my shoulders. At the same time, each time I do that, I'm spiking my protein synthesis, my hormone response, etc., which means that I'm going to be more anabolic throughout the day. And this is just a lot more similar to the way that we would have trained, you know, in the wild. This kind of training might also mean that you're getting more blood supply, more nutrients to the muscle over and over again because you keep sending blood that way. This might also strengthen your tendons and your fascia, your connective tissue. Connective tissue hypertrophy is a really underappreciated aspect of hypertrophy. Connective tissue like fascia doesn't just connect on either end or even just wrap around your muscle. It runs through it and it breaks into segments. Your muscle is 20% connective tissue. So if you build more connective tissue, you add more size. At the same time, you're less likely to injure yourself and you're much stronger on your lifts. One of the reasons that people might not have so much success splitting their training into smaller modules like this is that they aren't going hard enough, I think. A lot of people think, oh, it's just a small little workout, I'll just take it easy, a few reps here, or maybe even that's the usual place to go out in the gym. But there they have the benefit of doing tons and tons and just really you know, piling on the pressure onto those muscle groups. What we're looking at here is efficiency, really intense training. So an example is I like to do three times 100 push-ups and three times 30 dips. That's one hypertrophy focused and strength endurance focused way for me to train my pecs my shoulders and my triceps that's quite intense likewise doing maybe 50 or 100 kettlebell swings in one go that'll get your heart rate up that'll build your posterior chain so think of this in terms of how efficiently you can feel some kind of response it's not enough to just go through the motions if you're going to be doing shorter workouts you need to learn to make the most of that time 
And now let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. So Squarespace is a powerful online platform for developing modern, attractive, and professional websites with zero coding necessary. Squarespace makes this easy with a number of features. Are you ready? Gated members only content for easy revenue generation, member management, inbuilt email communications, and audience insights. There's also a fully integrated commenting system with threaded comments, replies, and likes. Powerful blogging tools for sharing content, categorizing posts, scheduling, publishing, and more. And social media integration to display posts from your social profiles directly on your website or push social media content automatically. And that's still not all. There are also powerful e-commerce capabilities with additional third-party extensions providing inventory management, marketing, streamlined bookkeeping, sales tax reconciliation and filing, and logistics for shipping globally. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, Bionia viewers can get 10% off the purchase of their first website or domain by going to squarespace.com forward slash Bionia today. And now, on with the show. When it comes to mobility, of course, it's really hard to overdo this. Obviously you can do, but you don't really need to worry about performing a few stretches or some mobility drills multiple times a day. That's not gonna lead to any problems. So you can even just do one exercise at a time. So for instance, whilst the kettle's boiling, you might do some shoulder openers using a door frame, or whilst the TV's on, you might just get into a nice deep resting squat. There's nothing to stop you from doing this multiple times and that's a great way to prevent your body from going to sleep. Not only do you improve your mobility just through rote repetition, but you're also gonna be keeping yourself invigorated. So a problem a lot of people have is not knowing the difference between being tired and being lethargic. So you might come home from a busy day and think you're tired because you've worked really hard, when actually you're just lethargic because you've been sat down for so long. And if you were to get up and move just a little bit, it doesn't have to be something big, then you might feel a lot more energetic and therefore able to train and just able to do all the things that you want to be able to do, you'll just feel a whole lot better. And just like it's hard to overdo the mobility training, it's also hard to overdo skills training. And this, of course, gives you the benefit of greasing the groove. Basically, this means that by continuously rehearsing that movement over and over again, you're reinforcing the neural pathways that you need to make it happen, and therefore you get better quicker. When it comes to something like cardio, what you're trying to do here is strengthen the heart. You might be trying to lose weight as well. In terms of weight loss, splitting your training up into smaller components makes loads of sense. So instead of doing one 30 minute run, you might do three 10 minute runs. What this is gonna do is once again, ramp your heart rate up multiple times throughout the day. Then there's the EPOC, the post-exercise oxygen consumption. That means you actually burn more calories following a cardio workout. So if you're doing lots of little bits of cardio, you're constantly burning more calories after those, meaning you're burning more calories total. It's also just much easier to go for a 10 minute run, maybe three times a week, five times a week, instead of one 50 minute run. I pretty much run everywhere I go, whether I'm going to the shops or whether I need to pop into town, I run with my daughter, and just constant movement like this keeps my heart rate up, keeps me feeling energetic, and burns more calories because I haven't had as long to just settle into this inactivity. Of course you guys know me, my goal is to train for everything and so the way I do this is by dividing my mini workouts into groups based on what I'm trying to train. So I call these modules. So for example my jump module consists of kettlebell jump squats, then jump squats without the kettlebell, then I perform some ATG split squats for the mobility benefits, and then I do some calf raises. So I've grouped these things together based on the result that I'm trying to get. Other times I might group things together based on hypertrophy or strength gains. For example, the chest pecs routine that I talked about earlier, that's more for strength endurance for the pecs as well as a bit of hypertrophy. Of course, I've barely even touched on the practical benefits of these smaller workouts. Like I say, there's far less of a psychological barrier to training for just this short amount of time. It can fit more easily into your day. And if all the activity you do in a day is just a 10 minute run, then that's much better than not having done any at all. Don't think it has to be all or nothing. Just a little bit of movement frequently is fantastic. But that's not my main point. I'm not saying that you can train like this and you'll get comparable results. I'm saying this might actually be how to get superior results because of that spiked protein synthesis, because of the increased energy you're approaching every workout with, because of the greasing the groove and because of the space learning, because you're constantly increasing your calorie burn throughout the day, raising your heart rate, increasing your vigor, moving more, staying more mobile, 
all those things mean I think the results you get from this kind of training are actually superior as long as you design these modules in such a way as to be efficient and to stimulate some kind of response. So hope you enjoyed today's video guys. It turned out to be a little bit of a challenge to make in places. The first time I went out, it rained off. And then on the second day, as you might have noticed, my drone got caught in a bush and then fell in a river. Never even found the drone, so it never got a proper burial. Then I had to just pretend like everything was okay and finish the video, even though I could have cried and I still could cry, but I won't, but I could, but I won't but I could. Anyways, Biodrome 2 is on the way today according to the Amazon app, so all is good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if training throughout the day in shorter bursts is something that you guys have tried doing, and if so, what were your results, and what tips do you have to share with people? If you like this kind of training, then check out my new ebook and training program, plus a video course, Super Functional Training 2.0. And there I'm adding a separate lesson that will show you how to take that program and break it down throughout the day. And that's gonna be free for anyone who's already bought Super Functional Training 2.0. It will be added to the lessons and anyone who buys it now, of course, will get that as well. And with that, you get a massive ebook that goes into depth on human performance, as well as a training program with a online video series showing you how to perform every exercise over two hours of video content. And this is designed to build multiple aspects of human performance all at once. So strength, size, speed, mobility, even brain functions. So if that's something you find interesting, if you enjoy the content on this channel, then please check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And there's a launch discount still on, but it won't be on for much longer. So get it now if you're interested. If you enjoyed this one, then please leave a like in honor of the Biodrone one and subscribe. That would help me out immensely. Hit the bell button for notifications. And either way, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye for now.